traffic moving a little slower right now along the Will Rogers Turnpike, where the OHP is still clearing the scene of this morning's deadly crash. Two News reporter Patricia Santos is live on the scene with more on the cleanup and concerns from construction workers. But well, that accident happened here at the Will Rogers Turnpike near mile marker 268 and that wreck still being cleared right behind us here. You can see them, the crews continuing to work here. And now on top of that, you also have road construction going on here. So crews really asking drivers to please drive with care here. Construction work is inherently dangerous and working around traffic is Compounds it. Ken Smith has been working construction sites for nearly four decades. It's work that makes him and his entire crew uneasy. They can drive slower than the posted speed limit. They would be doing us a favor. He points to this deadly crash involving a semi truck just hours ago as to why drivers need to slow down. A westbound semi truck uh, hauling eggs. Uh, the driver, for unknown reason, hit the center barrier wall through the construction zone. The cab caught on fire. OHP investigators say in a panic, the driver ran onto oncoming traffic. A little after 4.30 in the morning, it's dark, uh, and the uh, vehicle traveling eastbound uh, apparently did not see this gentleman cross the roadway. He was thrown several yards down this embankment and killed. A car rolled into the drainage ditch. Three passengers on board survived. Heck of a ride for the folks, and luckily they didn't, didn't kill them. It took Gail Osborne nearly two hours in a traco to get the Subaru out of this snake infested waters. This was fairly simple. You call that simple? Mm hmm. Luckily, construction crews were not on scene yet, but Smith and his 20 plus workers hope drivers remember to slow down for the orange cones. Everybody's a, a, a mother or a dad or a brother or a sister that's working out here. And, uh, we want everybody to go home safe. Back live out here on the scene, OHP investigators say the construction zone here clearly marked and they do not believe that this played a role in this accident here. Now, the speed limit going through here is about 55 miles an hour, but construction crews asking you to drive even slower if you can, and of course, put your cell phones down near the area here. Live near 8 Air, Patricia Santos, 2 News, work for you.